Welcome back to forts. We've done a lot of like World War II battleship themed forts videos. The issue with those videos was they were never true battleships. What we're gonna be doing today, we have our first working floating battleship in forts. L let me show you. So at the beginning, you're gonna see, oh wait, it looks like my ship is sinking, right? When they spawn in, they're actually just like floating here. So that's kind of the issue. So it's gonna take a little bit of time for them to stabilize. And what is this? There's so many new devices and technology. We've got float base and steam turbines. The amount of new weapons we have to show off is actually quite impressive because we have underwater propellers. They're back here and I can't f operate them when we're above water naturally, see? Underwater weapons cannot be fired from this position because they're not underwater. But now that they're underwater, well, they can work. We also have torpedo launchers, anti-air torpedoes, and a big thing called a ship gun, of which we have one right here. Let's fire the main guns real quick. Because this is two Iowa-style battleships, right? And they're mirrored, so what I have, the enemy ship has as well. In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. This is Warhammer 40,000 Lost Crusade. It's an online MMO strategy game in which the player takes on the role of a fleet commander to wage war on all enemies within the Imperium Nihilus. Now, I'm a big fan of Warhammer lore. I wish I was eight feet tall and a space marine, but I'm not. But this game allows me to jump into Warhammer 40,000 wherever I go, even when I want to casually play on my phone, especially when I want to play on my phone. Now, this isn't a knockoff. This is official IP licensed by Games Workshop, and it features heroes from the Warhammer 40,000 franchise. And for the first time ever, these heroes have voices in game. Now, keep in mind, this is update content. They're adding four Space Marine chapters into the game, and each chapter has its own buff base design and character skills. Now, if you're a big fan of Warhammer 40,000 like me, I encourage you to download the game using the link in the video description below. And I got some perks for you here for signing up. You can get $10 worth of in-game rewards using my code BaronXLC. So check the game out for yourself and let's jump back into the action. So we're gonna just kind of fire these two downrange, see what we can hit. But what I'm really excited to show off is we're gonna actually try to close the distance with the enemy ship, right? Okay, so this, I believe, is a traditional torpedo launcher. Now that we're sort of stabled, we're gonna fire it. They're trying to actually hit it with anti-aircraft, which is kind of funny, and look. Ooh, they've got a torpedo launcher as well. We gotta be mindful of that. And these are anti-air torpedoes, is what they're called. Oh god. All right, we're gonna repair all of that stuff, fire the anti-air torpedoes at the enemy's ship, and then see if we can't fire our main gun at him. Oh, man. Did we fire a little bit low? I would say we fired a little bit low, but we pretty much did a good job of strafing the deck. Now, depending on where these things are fired, like where the ship is kind of like floating, I need to take out their torpedo launchers. But there's just like a tons of weapons that are added to this we gotta find safe spots to put this and I, i'm not sure if we can like overweigh. oh well that kind of answers that question doesn't it we're gonna sell this just to decrease the weight <laughs> oh my gosh this this ship is just like let's get these guys control group one because i want to see if we can't like get closer to them right all right all three turbines are firing and we're slowly but surely moving. Like, look at the little grid reference points, right? Okay. Now you're gonna be... The underwater stuff is gonna be control group two. And how are we doing? We haven't lost any of our cores yet. Two cannons downrange. It's gonna be kind of tricky, right? But like, isn't this amazing? Like, we've never had floating ships. We've never been able to move the forts. Although, some people created some pretty cool, like, spaceship mods where you could, like, maneuver them. But I've always just been fascinated by battleships. And we've done a lot of those kind of themes within forts. Here we go. Don't hit the big torpedo. Oh! Oh man, it's open. It's vulnerable. Okay. What we need to do is wait for this torpedo to reload. We'll just refire this since we've got it. This is the scatter one. The grid kind of decreases my frame rate a little bit. Oh! Wait a minute. What? What just happened? Where's the enemy ship? Fire torpedo. Uh, are we playing in the bur- What? Did they just go stealth mode? 
What is what is happening? There is some kind of technology. Someone needs to tell me how this ship is cloaking itself. I mean, that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. And I don't see a technology that I don't know. They just keep they just keep cloaking. Okay, that's super strange. Yeah, so what would happen if Fort's got actual working ships? This. Was it the Romulans? Did the Romulans have cloaking devices? Ooh, knocked the nose off. That seems intentional. At first, I thought it was a bug. Honestly, at first, I thought the ship destroyed itself. Let's go a little bit closer. What I would love to see is, like... Are those gonna arc in time? No, they're not gonna arc. Oh, the ship is actually burning at the edge of the map. I think because it's hitting it, it's exploding, potentially. Us, on the other hand, we're doing fine. Oh my god, I, 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 I'm generally, like, at a loss for words. Wait, can we not then put in missile systems? I don't think we can, because there's nowhere for them to mount, right? Oh, they can mount amidships. Interesting. We're gonna try this out. Should we put them in the smokestack? I'm gonna put one in the smokestack right here. Control group four. When it's done, we're gonna upgrade it. Ooh, mortars. I haven't tried these. Can we hit them with long range mortars? Well, they just got splattered. Let's propel ourselves a little bit more. Fire the torpedoes. That's a good torpedo. Oh, well, I mean, it was until it died. Oh, that, not the best rockets, not the worst either. I want to kill this little cluster one, which we haven't been able to do just yet. Fire the cannons now that we're closer. And how do we do? <laughs> I love it. I, I don't know how they're doing this cloaking thing. Oh, you know what it is? It's this guy, isn't it? This guy has cloaking ability. Oh my gosh, I thought they were making this tech. I'm sure some of you guys have like known about it. This is new to me. Do you think it was this guy? Device float base. We've got a lot of like new weapon systems. A lot of new numbers out here. Numbers. Let's open the front and f try to hit him with a big old barrage. Doesn't do a whole lot to the armor. Yeah, okay. Here we go. I'm seeing it on the right side of the screen here. This guy's cloaking. Okay. That's cool. I thought there was some like cloaking technology. I'm glad that we found that because I didn't know that was in the game. I just didn't. But when ready, gentlemen. So the engines seem a little bit underpowered right now. And maybe it's because like the mass of this ship is so much. I would love a game where you could kind of, if you were to combine forts with ships at war, I think that would just be incredible. Actually, what happens if we ram them? Do you guys want to see me ram the enemy ship? Uh oh, incoming cannon round, right? Thought we heard a cannon round. Fire a torpedo. If they blow it up immediately again, then we know we need to fire the clusters first. Boom, there we go. Okay, they're pretty weak right now. And we are full speed ahead, at least as far as we're concerned. Underwater propellers. This is some really, really cool stuff. Torpedoes are a lot of fun. I feel like they do pretty decent damage. It's essentially, it kind of feels like a ballistic missile, but underwater. Maybe not as powerful. Let's upgrade this. And we're gonna need a spotter. This guy is an anti-armor sniper. So I don't think he's able to spot, but we'll see. We'll wait to find out. Now we can delete this guy if we want. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, let's stabilize the front of our ship here. But you can see these things like constantly firing. Okay, so this is, this is a steam turbine and this is a float base. So the float base is what keeps it floating. <laughs> so at this line, this is essentially the water line. Everything below it is under the grid like water. Fire. Here we go. Good adjustment. Now, if only you could actually like send in mini subs and air strikes and stuff like that, it would be awesome. It'll be control group five. You may fire your double batteries at the cloaked ship. Ooh. We sailed it right over. Now, I don't think, oh, we're still upgrading that. Are we in mortar range yet? Oh, we are. We are actually. Let's continue moving in. <laughs> would it be, wouldn't it be cool if you could like put a nuclear reactor up here? Wait a minute. Can I do that? 
I can create a core. It just creates metal though. And we have a couple of them right here. I want to see if they would explode though. All right, we do not have a sniper. We do not have a targeting computer. We're going to want to put one near the front of the ship per chance or at the very top. We're going to put it at the very top. And it looks like we might want to repair some of this in armor up here. All right, here we go. Sniper's ready for targeting acquisition. How are you not ready? What the heck? Okay, that's interesting. Ramming speed it is then. I need these things to flip around. How do I do that? I used to know it. I do not know it anymore. Torpedoes away. Oh, they're trying to rebuild, eh? Ooh, that was nice. And look, where are we going to hit the cloaked ship? <laughs> Fire! Oh, both sailed. Yeah, I guess we have to adjust our aim now that we're a lot closer. But I think what you could do is... Well, I guess what would be kind of fun is just, like, decorate the front of this with mortars. Oh, that didn't sound good. We're closing the distance to just mass incendiary mortar them. All right, here we go. Start lighting these guys up. They have a little bit of anti-aircraft. Fire the torpedo. <laughs> you can see where the fires are even though they're cloaked. All the mortars. All the work. All the mortars. And a full salvo of mortars again. They're not really stopping us. I like how you can still see where the cores are though. Their cloaking devices are... I mean, this is... This is out of this world. We're gonna adjust our firing arc since we're getting closer. Like, I've never... Actually, what happens if you ram? Right? I feel like we have to figure that out. I wish I could do more stuff that's on fire. I guess we could put a heat laser, but that's not like the new thing. You know what? Now that we're closer, what happens if we fire our main ship gun? Ah, uh, it doesn't do near enough to metal plating. Ooh! Okay. That... was interesting. Ah, uh, we blew up a core, but the ship is invisible. <laughs> Look at how close we are. Which core did we blow up? Are there multiple? I mean, there's three, but is this... Oh, this is the starting lo core location, I think. Oh, that's another core. Did they have two cores? Or maybe maybe these things explode. Yeah, I think the I-core can explode. I wish you could trigger them to melt down. Then I would create a ramming ship. Now, what if we upgraded them all? All of the mortars are going to be upgraded to, like, high explosive. Uh, against metal plating, our incendiaries aren't really working. So we're going to up them. We'll keep this one at the beginning and a little incendiary. See enemy resources. Let's see the enemy resources. Yeah, okay, we did. Yeah, one of their I-cores detonated. That's what it was. Got it. Let's try to... Oop. Actually hurt me a little bit. <laughs> all right, high explosive mortars. They're all going maybe a little bit too far back. All right, adjust aim here. How's that? Still a little too high. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Some direct hits. And now we're shelling like their main core location. That's a big hit. Yes, okay. We detonated one of the primary cores. They only have two left. They're still freaking cloaking, though, for a few more seconds. <laughs> there we go. So this is what they look like. They're Iowa not doing very good. All right, we're closing to ramming speed. Yeah, but imagine, like, having an aircraft carrier version of this. I feel like I just need to make that a game. You know what? Let's do it again. Let's hit them with the ship gun. They should be close and weak enough to where we might actually be able to hit that core. Oh! Is it gonna collapse? It's like on the edge of collapse. <laughs> okay, there it is. Ship gun ready. We're gonna try to target that right here. Yep. Yes! Wait, it's gonna... It's gonna detonate underwater. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna... Now we're just gonna go full speed ahead, go ramming. <laughs> Oh! Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, that's not good at all. Okay, we are inside of the enemy ship. See, Forts was, did not account for this. 
man, the front of my ship is moving so much. It's it's gonna be very difficult not to hit it. Our mortars are like inside of them. Like, look at this. This is bad. If only we could detonate something. Yeah, like, I'm blowing up my own ship right now. Oh, wow. I can't fire from underwater. <laughs> my entire ship is just like not doing good. Oh, we lost the I cores, I think. <laughs> or was that theirs? I can't I can't keep up with it. You know what we need to do is actually back this thing up. Back it up. All right, we need to go to weapons. We need to get underwater propellers. We need to put them here. And we're going to put like six of them so we can back this thing up. Okay, so that's what happens if you ram. It's not nearly as climactic as I would have thought. All right, we can start moving backwards with our six turbines. Can you upgrade them? Oh my god, you can. <gasps> no, they, it went backwards. Shoot. So that's how you get them to go backwards. They're, sh they're shooting machine guns at my deck finally. There we go. <laughs> this, is, this is much better. Let's repair everything. Let's uh, shoot them. <laughs> so six turbines I feel like is the magic number. Oh my god, look at my ship. Okay, can we fix it? We are taking on water. If there was actually like flooding mechanics, oh. This would be epic. Look at them smoking. Okay, ship gun. Target key areas of that ship. But I still cannot target. Even though the sniper's right there. Maybe we can try it again. Full speed ahead, six turbines, full reverse. We're actually faster in reverse. Are we a French ship? <laughs> Wasn't that always the meme about French tanks? They had more gears that could go reverse. Guys, I mean, I, I literally have. Doesn't make sense. Can't even do it. That gun just doesn't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, what we need to do is get this front section to float again. So in order to do that, we need float base. That should help raise it, right? I think it's trying to. Maybe we need some turbines under them. Let's see if that works, because we have these turbines here, right? Let's see if it, it raises itself a little bit, now that we got turbine power. It is better. The mortars weren't able to fire. We just have to finish off the enemy ship now. It's gonna be tricky. I don't think I can fire lasers underwater. Hmm. Oh! We caused a chain reaction! We hit some of these? Oh my god, that was fantastic. Okay. So essentially what happened was we hit the float bases and it just caused a massive chain reaction. Now the ship is sinking. Oh my god. See, this is when you need to still be able to watch the end of the game and watch things like fall apart and die. Unless, of course, the game did crash. Because that is incredible. That is a dream game right now. So what happens if you made forts actual floating battleships well it's freaking amazing and if you put in some romulan cloaking technology it's a little bit extra spicy so thanks for watching another episode of forts if you guys do want to see more pull the trigger on the like button and let me know and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching